Welcome to episode 55 of the Curios Cast, where we'll be talking about the wholesome internet troll, Ken M. I still don't know if I get that intro I was going right. to say, yeah, yeah, you did that. No, that was the, the, the previous time you did it good. There was one where I left it in because yeah, you did it all right. But that was because I, I was listening to it at the same time because I, was, I, was, I wanted to nail it. Oh, uh, right, okay, yeah. It. Yeah, that time you did not do it right. Yeah, I always just... <laughs> bam, 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 yeah, but I'm pretty yeah, sure like that is sort of, Countdown. That is the Countdown version. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm always minimal effort on the thing. I just do this. It's not even Countdown. I know what it is. It's like... Da, 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 da. It's like another kid's like TV show, almost like what we're seeing. Like, da, 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 da. Yeah. It's more oh, like that. So about, that, by the way? About 20 episodes ago, right, we, <laughs> we were having like this very similar conversation about... Um, we were talking about, uh, fuck, like um, songs and theme tunes from kids' TV shows. And you were talking about uh, something like School Bus or something. Um, Play Days? What's it called? Play Days yeah. having a banging theme tune? Was yeah. It? Bang, we were talking about banging theme tunes. We were talking about Arm no, Fire and stuff. Play yeah, Days it's the is one incredible. with the School Bus, Rob. Yeah. yeah it's Play, Play Days. It called I'm, I'm saying it. it. What's it called? No, you you can't hear. I'm saying it. What is it? <laughs> Play <laughs> Days. Play Days. What? Say it again. What? <laughs> Say it what? <laughs> Fucking play days. What? Okay. <laughs> play yeah, days. Uh, yeah, we can't hear you when we talk. Yeah. Yeah. And you you sung that and in my head I was like, I've heard this recently, but not from play days. Like I haven't been watching play days. And <laughs> I couldn't remember where it was. And I was listening to the Play Days theme for like a good couple of weeks, trying to remember <laughs> where I'd heard it from. Like I've, I've heard someone remix it or use it for another purpose, like change the lyrics. And it bothered me for so long. I was texting my mates in the group chat saying, guys, the lyrics, on the off the chance, lyrics. have you, like, I didn't know if it was from a YouTube video, a film, uh, like a TV show, like a Twitch stream. I didn't know where it was from. I said, look, on the off chance, we've watched the same thing and you happen to remember someone remixing the Play Days theme tune. Do you know where it's from? Because it's really bugging me. And no one knew. And it was bothering me. It was literally uh, every morning it was in my head. And I couldn't, and I was trying to remember where it was from, and I couldn't remember. And then it was literally about a week ago. Uh, I started my car, and I I always just plug my phone into the car, so I never listen to the radio. But the radio tends to play for about ten seconds before I plug my phone in, so I hear ten seconds of whatever radio station it's on. And I think it was on Radio One, and they do this section at like the same time. Every week, you know, for like an hour on a Friday, they do yeah. what's your unpopular opinion? And you've got to call in and say what your unpopular opinion is, and then they judge whether you're an idiot or not, basically. And I don't know what the radio presenter's name is. He's like a quite a famous bloke on Radio One. Um I don't really know the radio one presenters. I'm 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 too old now. Oh. You'll you'll know him. Uh Greg Chris James free life. Greg James, no. But Radio he does. Uh, Radio 4 now, Rob. But he. Uh, B- uh, BBC 6 is my, my jam. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Working your yeah. way up. Oh, yeah. But. Mm. <laughs> Working your way up. Basically, the <laughs> intro to. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> <laughs> but the. Which way is he going? <laughs> <laughs> the intro to their unpopular opinion section is it's a Play Days theme tune, and he's like. Call me and tell me your unpopular opinion and we'll tell you whether you're right or wrong. Like oh, over that, the top of it, the Play Day it, theme tune, yeah. something like that. But yeah. it was literally just coincidence that I'd like huh. turned, like got in my car at like, the, the right time and those yeah. 10 seconds were just when he was singing that. And I, I was sitting in my car. I was like, yes, I finally, <laughs> <laughs> I figured it out. And um, That's lovely. So far, so no one I've told has been the same cared. thing at some point weeks before you've done the same. Yeah, it and just it come on my head somehow. You, and even yeah, hadn't even noticed, and was just waiting for you music yeah. to kick in. Because I'd never heard the Play Days theme tune until like I'd heard Greg James sing it before I'd actually heard yeah, the Play yeah. Days theme tune until you mentioned it. You're basically right. like Jason Bourne. You know, you've got like a uh, something in your brain that can be triggered at any moment. Oh yeah, <laughs> like, like MK Ultra. Awesome yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but anyway, this episode is about Ken M. Have you heard of Ken oh, this M? Is not an episode on the Play Days theme. No, yeah. no. <laughs> I have not heard of You've Ken not heard of Ken M. So that is, no, that is great. Mm. So Ken M was one of the, I guess, like original internet trolls. And 
it's trolls in the good way. We've spoke about this before, and I know Rob's mm. got a, a strong opinion on this. Um, okay. And I feel like in the early days, trolling was used uh, sort of like synonymously with the word prank. Like it's a prank online. It's meant to be, and also the word like pranks kind of change as well. A prank is meant to be something that's yeah. lighthearted. Yeah. Mm. Everyone finds it funny. It's not really too harmful. It's not like going up to someone in the street, smacking a phone out of their hand. <laughs> yeah, it's a prank, bro. There's a camera. Like that, <laughs> that's not a prank. That's just being a dick. And just because you're being a dick with a camera, it doesn't make it, it, doesn't make it cool. No. Yeah. Um, and a troll used to be someone who would just be silly online, maybe even take the piss out themselves, or just, just be a prankster on the internet. Mm. And now it's used in a way of just anyone being a dickhead. You know, on the internet. Yeah, trolling has it, it's been commandeered mm. like by the media and by boomers. That now, when someone yeah. is like sending a celebrity death threats, they're like yeah. trolls online. For, it's like no, they're fucking criminals. Like they're, yeah, they're, yeah. That's yeah, just a criminal asshole. Yeah, yeah. Just not a light-hearted troll no. bantering. Trolls used to, for me like a good example. I always think of was like trolls on the internet decided to all get together and order pizza to the Scientology uh, yeah. churches or whatever, yeah? Yeah. So know. so they all decided to do it to one place at one time. So like a cunt load of pizza turned up at the Scientology. <laughs> Irritating. <laughs> cunt load. You know, perhaps a little harmful on the pizza company or whatever, but... Yeah, if they haven't paid for the pizzas, then it's a bit... No, no major harm, you know, yeah. Yeah. in the grand scheme of things. Yeah, but now people will literally be telling people to kill themselves online and, and the media's like, trolls online. It's like, yeah, not, not, now, not it's cunts, yeah. cunts online. Yeah. Cunts online uh, yeah. forced such and yeah. such to yeah. commit suicide. But Ken M is the perfect example of what a troll should be. Now, Ken M was a username that started appearing, I think it was pretty much 10 years ago. I think it was like 2010, 2011. Um, so when I say like the original troll, not really original, like the internet had been around years before, but he was good at it, right? And he would appear on message boards from, you know, like Quora, Yahoo Answers. He'd be on like public Facebook pages and towards the end he started kind of like commenting on brand Facebook pages. Um, and for a very, very long time, and I think even to this day, it's disputed about Ken's identity. No one really knows who he is. Mm-hmm. Um, there, there wasn't like a social media page for Ken at the time. It was literally just that people started recognising this name, Ken M, keeps appearing in these message boards. And he was basically going on there and playing the fool. So he would go on there and answer these questions, but in a really... Uh, in just a really silly way that would make people think that he was the idiot and then when they would reply and try and correct him he would again just pretend he was an idiot and not really understand what was going on so just for laughs yeah so I've got some examples a bit uh, like me with Bigfoot and Ghost you know I don't really believe all that stuff <laughs> mm, I don't know I'm doubting mm. uh, or do I doubting that yeah uh, so if we look at the examples and I'll get, so the thing is with, with Ken, with this kind of comedy, I guess, is it is one of those things that is slightly better in written form when you're reading it rather than me reading it out on a podcast, but I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, because it, it, you get, it's just, so you get the point really rather than, you know, the yeah. punchline hitting. But so like the first example there is it's on a message. It's on a, I think this one's on Yahoo answers. Or it's just it's just a news article. It's not even um, it's not even like a question. No one's asked anything. It's just in the comments of a news article about uh, scientists that were developing a super memory pill and possible Alzheimer's cure could be round the corner. Is the title? So it's one of these things. Obviously, there's like a research group that are looking into a pill that enhances your memory and would help those with Alzheimer's. And Ken M comments and just says. I'd rather have the memory God intended. Thank you very much. Limitless memory means our brains will get too plump for our skulls. And <laughs> plump. Yeah. Plump. And then someone comments and said, God is a ridiculous myth. And then someone else comments and says, Ken, oh my God, that has to be the most ridiculous comment I've ever read. And someone said, someone else says, 
uh, yeah, too little knowledge had made your brain atrophy. And then Kem just replies and says, if our brains got too smart, they'll become self-aware and take over our bodies. <laughs> and it, it, That's it, a fair point. You know? yeah. fair. And it's like we were talking about at the end of last episode is people will believe that Ken is this stupid and actually thinks these things. And sometimes he does toe the line. Like you could imagine someone being so sort of stupid that they would comment something like this. Mm. Um, and some of them are just, some of them are stupid as well. So I have to admit, sometimes I, I was thinking about this today, actually, on like Facebook, for instance, on comments on a video or something. I, f- I, I forget that they're real people. Yeah. You know, sometimes I forget that all these people commenting this bullshit, you know, they're just real people. They're actual people. It doesn't seem like it on, online. Um, so I can I see why that some is people. That, that is a common problem of our time, George. Isn't I know. It? Yeah. It's a very, mm. very. That's why people are such cunts on, on yeah. the internet. But um, yes, yeah, so I can see why people um, would go ham on giving Ken some grief. Yeah. Um, and most of the time they're just kind of befuddled. They're, they're, they're thinking, they're not under, really understanding. And some of it's quite wholesome, I guess. They're trying to correct him kindly. And, yeah. But he'll just, he'll just, you know, run with the joke even further. He doubles down. So uh, the second example here is... Uh, Again, another news article. NASA releases out of this world GoPro spacewalk footage. So again, it's just an article just about, you know, some astronauts done a spacewalk and there, there was a GoPro there and they filmed it. So I remember this. I remember at the time thinking like, mate, that is a big up for GoPro, isn't it? Mm, yeah, like, that's good fuck marketing. Fuck me. Yeah. That is great yeah. marketing. Like, <laughs> and that, that was probably, they probably didn't, you know, it wasn't like their plan. I doubt. You know, it was no. just the best camera to for now. They just oh, we got a GoPro with us. We'll slap that up there. Like yeah. maybe got it for free. Maybe not even. You know, just bought a GoPro. It's, it's the best thing for the job. I don't the think time. they were like, what have we got? Oh, we got a GoPro knocking about in the uh, space station. Let's knock that up there. Oh no, but probably, I mean, but they probably took it. Like, what's the best? It, yeah, yeah, they probably really planned easy. to film this spacewalk, and they just but thought, like, yeah, what let's is get the best a GoPro. Way to it, a yeah, the they weren't rummaging around be a in like. <laughs> Fucking box on the ISS <laughs> and be like, oh look, we, well we got a, we got a GoPro. Yeah, Wash that out the front. Yeah, see what we can yeah. catch. Um, I might have done that. But yeah, Ken comments <laughs> on this article and just says, "Space has been around for hundreds of years, but scientists <laughs> still don't know much about it." <laughs> And that's, that's a fair that's point. Beautiful. That yeah. is beautiful. And then there's that multiple people point. saying, "Pretty sure technically he's not wrong. He's not wrong. <laughs> hundreds." <laughs> True. It could be, yeah. Yeah. So someone comments and says only hundreds of years, and someone else says, "Pretty sure space has been around since the beginning of time." <laughs> and then Ken says, "Meant to say hundreds of space years." <laughs> <laughs> so they ask, "What's a space year?" And he says, "A space year is three hundred and sixty-five days." <laughs> and someone says, "Wow, just wow! How many space years old are you, Ken?" He says, I'm 73 in space years, but that's only 73 in Earth years. <laughs> like, he's just being an idiot. But people yeah. are like, the first comment, there's not really much wrong with that, saying space has been around for hundreds of years, but scientists still don't know much about it. It's a funny mm. comment. And if yeah. you saw that, you, you would, I feel like even now, like my troll bells would be ringing. You'd be like, this guy's just being silly. But obviously some mm. people think, this guy, this guy doesn't know. Space has I been around for, I forever. Him. I'd give him a thumbs up and move along. But once he says a space year is 365 days, people are still entertaining the idea that this guy yeah, just doesn't know. Yeah, that's what's good about know. it. Yeah. Um, the next one is uh, Jennifer Aniston's weird airplane habits and other celeb travel quirks. So, I don't know, just an article about what Jennifer Aniston does on planes. But he comments and says, not all celebrities are eccentric divas. My wife and I were lucky enough to meet Kit Duncan at the Dulles Airport, and he was gracious and down to earth. And someone says, who? He replies, says, the great Kit Duncan. And someone else says, who the hell is Kit Duncan? He was the assistant dolly grip for Jaws 3. That was a good noise. Who was that? That was wrong. That just came out of me there. Like a wheeze. Yeah. Yeah. Um, So these are just the kind of stupid things that he does. Like, it is so harmless. Yeah. The only one who's getting a kick out of it. Well, yeah, I, I guess like, yeah. when he, especially when he first started off, he's only doing it for himself. He's not, it's not like he was trying to build a presence. It wasn't like yeah, he was yeah, doing it like, just... you know, people might 
make a Twitter account and tell funny jokes because they know people will retweet it and they'll get more followers and whatever. But yeah. he's he wasn't getting any publicity out of this. Uh, just on some it, rare accounts, like just his genuine username on some things just to wind people up. Yeah, like he... he like, yeah. Yeah, and he uses the same like alias on every... Oh, my light's fucked up. Uh, on every website. He's always just Ken M. And uh, yeah, it's not like he was doing it for any kind of publicity. He just wanted to make people laugh, I guess, and make himself laugh kind of more than anything. Is he still yeah. around today? Is he still doing it? He is, yeah. Um, we'll, we'll get to that. Oh, um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'll read a couple more examples. So I do think they're funny. Yeah. But uh, they are good. Yeah. Stunning Mars panoramas capture Curiosity Rover at work. So, you know, Curiosity Rover went up to Mars, took some photos, sent them back. The Curios. The Curios Rover. Maybe one day oh, we'll have a Curios yeah. Rover on Mars. Curiosity. <laughs> yeah. um, disclaimer Curiosity. we will not have a Curios Rover. <laughs> uh, so there's a back and forth here. He just says. Much different from how the movies show it. How comes the crust is so dry? Uh, and someone explains to him, being on the surface of Mars is like being 100,000 feet high in our atmosphere. It's very cold and very dry. There's strong evidence that there's a lot of water under the surface, though. So he's just explaining, you know, because uh, of the lack of atmosphere, there's not much moisture on, on Mars. He says, it's actually much higher than that because the surface of Mars is millions of miles above our atmosphere. <laughs> <laughs> I can't decide if Ken is trying to be funny or just an idiot. Ken, I'm saying Mars is located at a higher elevation than anything on Earth. Wow. It's a planet. <laughs> <laughs> the elevation above sea level on Earth is irrelevant. It pro- and then Ken says, it probably don't get rain because it is higher than most of our clouds. <laughs> Yeah, like, good. Um, do you remember though? Remember that uh, like, um, it was like Google Street View that you could do of of Mars from the recent rover thing. Did you did you play around with that? Uh, I didn't. No. Oh, it was fucking mm. next level. It was basically like a a Google Street View kind of capture, but from the Mars rover, and you could just go on it and like roam about Mars a bit. But it was the most like real head fuck of like you know like. It's the surface of a planet. Yeah, like, like Street it, View, yeah. It, but it was just like you were in, like, the desert. Like, you know, it looked, like, familiar. You know, there's rocks. Mm. There's formations that I can understand to be, like, mountain yeah. things. And it was funny. One of the guys in our uh, in our climbing group chat. Obviously, we've got a climbing group chat. No, you don't climb, uh, do you? Yeah. <laughs> and, um... <laughs> He posted up something and was like, oh, here's my next project I want to be working on, which is like your next like climb you want to go and do. And it was like a big like overhanging like, uh, like overhang bit, like his feature looked really wicked. And everyone was like, oh, where's that? It looks sick. Like that. And he was like, Mars. <laughs> <laughs> I think I, I, I tend to find it is cool that we have that technology that we can literally like do like a little street view of Mars. But do you find it is a bit underwhelming sometimes when you see these photos and you know it's amazing because they've sent something up, somehow managed to get it land on there take a photo, send it back through some kind of wave. We mm. realised last episode we don't know much about waves. But, <laughs> uh, and then you look at it and it's just like, oh, it's just rocks, isn't it? Like, it is just like you've gone to a desert. They could have just gone to a desert. and For all we know, yeah. 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 Um, I know, I love it. Yeah, it is cool, but the actual photos, it's not like, it's not like they've gone there and it's like the Avatar world. Like, what yeah, you're yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah. where there's like fucking a, these yeah. beasts flying around and stuff. That's what I want. Yeah. 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 I, know what you mean. I always like hearing about, um, is it Europa? One of the Mars, mm. the moons of, um, yeah. Is it Jupiter? Oh, and oh. They, they reckon that that's like the, the, oh, fucking the SD card place. Is cool. Yeah, it's like the most similar to Earth. Um, than the, but it still know, sounds well shit there. Like, I wouldn't want to live there. Like, it's not... It wouldn't be life like we know. Yeah, it would still be basically. like minus a million degrees or some shit. Yeah. Um, You've got all the Halloween you know episodes, haven't you, by the way, Tom? You what? you got all the Halloween footage. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah, that's on. good. Yeah, just bring that up. <laughs> just bring that up on an episode that's going to come out a like few weeks after the Halloween. Like, you yeah, yeah. fucking idiot. If you idiot. haven't oh seen uh, the Halloween episode, go back two episodes. It's a good one. We're all in costume. Yeah. Sorry, my GoPro just stopped you recording, but it, I've, I've, I've carried on. But anyway, so people started to, you know, pick up this Ken M uh, character. 
And I'm pretty sure I, like when I originally heard about Ken M, it was through just like, it was quite organic where I had noticed that this name popped up on like a couple of these like Quora questions or whatever. Like I'd ask a question and there'd be a... That's quite nice if you did. Yeah, or do, you ask question, do you ask questions on Quora? I don't ask questions, no, oh, but right. maybe <laughs> I'd, I'd looked up something and that was like the top result, you know. Uh, I find that a fascinating person. Me? That asks... No, oh. no, like the person, <laughs> the person that asks... And possibly more fascinating, the person that answers questions mm. on Cora. Yeah. And, and, but levels deeper than that, what is, a, what is a level of a commenter? Like, there are many places that people comment, you think, like, that's a bit far out. You've decided to comment that. Like, some people, like, even uh, my fucking drummer finds it funny that I comment on YouTube videos. He's like, you're a fucking such as, <laughs> you know, like, he's like, you're a fucking boomer, basically, commenting on YouTube videos. I was like, why well, who comments on YouTube videos? I was like, I don't I like it. I do. But, uh, but like, people that comment on porn videos. Yeah. Like, yeah that is a fucking, that. what is going on there? Yeah. Who yeah. the fuck are you talking about? I to? was actually thinking about doing a, either a whole episode or just a weird news segment on the best porn comments. <laughs> I was thinking about that. Because you get them, um, so you get obviously people who comment on Pornhub videos and stuff like in the comments, and I think it, it makes sense a bit. It's still weird, but when it's like a you know people upload their own content onto Pornhub, you know, yeah, there's a chance maybe that there may be some interaction. Well, sometimes they, a lot of time they do yeah. reply. Like you, yeah. you'll see, um, you see people replying. And, oh, God, I just bashed out a massive wang to your latest <laughs> video. Yeah, and and people will reply and be like. Thanks. You know, yeah, cheers. <laughs> like, yeah. yo, more Don't stuff coming. Don't forget to like, share, yeah. and subscribe. Don't to sub, yeah, yeah well, that's hot. But, yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, but then you get people that comment on, you know, just like high production level videos that they're obviously just actors that are not going to be reading the comments for this at well, all. And it's probably a stolen video in the first place. Yeah, like, and it's yeah. yeah, and people are commenting like, God. Love her tits at seven minutes, 40 seconds. <laughs> like, and then other, other guys come and be like, oh yeah, that's my favourite too. I come back to this video every month and, and refresh my memory. And yeah. it's, it is great. I love it. It's a strange world. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah. So- Imagine, I'd love to work for Pornhub. Would you not love to work for Pornhub? Like in there, they must have some sort of weird... I bet it gets depressing um, after a while, doesn't it? I know, yeah, it must be depressing, but sure like... That. um. <laughs> Don't customer that. support or customer <laughs> service. <laughs> yeah, I reckon there's probably some really depressing stories, but also very funny stories that come out of the customer support at Pornhub. Yeah, probably. You must get so many, like, maybe, like, horny people who want to just tell someone that they're busting a nut, so they, like, click the little... <laughs> I, I assume maybe there's like a little help me button, like you know when you, you know when yeah. you're like shopping for a new phone or something, a little button pops up. Like, Do you need help with that? Like <laughs> maybe maybe that happens. Contact yeah. support, yeah. But yeah, anyway, with Ken M, um, you know, people just started realizing, I guess, kind of naturally, I guess, either people who browse these uh, kind of forums, or you know, you're you're reading the comments to a news article and. You see this funny comment, so you screenshot it, share it, and then someone else screenshots a, a different article or a different Quora answers, and suddenly people start realising this Ken guy keeps showing up in all these different locations. Nice. And people were trying to work out who, who he was, because for a very, very long time, um, or even in, up until now, he doesn't have a profile photo. Like If you look at most of these uh, examples the he's just got the basic profile photo for uh whatever the website is so it would just be a, a like an avatar which is like an outline of a person or on this one it's just a exclamation mark for I think there is one where there's a who, picture isn't there yeah so he uh where's there's the one? a face he's com is a facebook thing by this point and he's commented on the tide yeah so it got to a point where he so eventually he did make his own facebook account so he could comment on yeah brand pages and people were like maybe thought like uh, he basically the profile photo is just an old white man sitting in like a car right like a stock image or yeah like, and it's yeah. it is just a stock image but yeah. the whole idea i guess is that people that are not in the know will think it's this poor old man who's commenting and he's confused and he doesn't doesn't <laughs> yeah. understand and sometimes yeah. he comments things that are a little bit like um not bigoted, but like a, maybe like a more traditional way of thinking. And 
he, you know, he gets what it, it's believable because he's an old white man. Um, yeah. And then eventually he made a Twitter account as well, which the Twitter handle is, um, it's horsey, horsey something, horsey surprise. Um, and again, he's just used a different old white man with a very miniature horse uh, as as the as the profile photo. So he's just hiding behind this, you know, guise of being a uh, ignorant uh, old person, I guess. So no one, no one really knew who he was, but he carried on. <laughs> he carried on commenting on these things. Um, so I just read ahead to one of the. Uh... What one? <laughs> <laughs> what one? I want to read it now. Uh, the one about the cat. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So he the Facebook one to Purina. <laughs> the, he gets good with it. So is it that one you're talking about? The Purina one? Yeah, yeah. that one. So he it's a Facebook and he's just commented on the wall of Purina Care Pet Health Insurance and says How to help a cat with belly problems? And the company replies and says, Hi, Ken, it depends on what the belly problems are. Take your cat to a vet and explain what is going on so they can help you and your furry loved one. Thanks, Ken. He replies, The problem seems to be tender belly. We notice <laughs> that he screams when you pick him up by the scruff of his belly. <laughs> I'll tell you what's interesting with this screenshot. Oh, though. I don't know why I found that so funny. So this screenshot has been screenshotted by oh. Ken M. Most likely because it's only 20 minutes. Be- and, and yeah, and because it says unlike on the liked, mm-hmm. or unless oh, it's no, been the screenshot by someone who noticed that. it within twenty minutes. Okay, maybe yeah. yeah, and liked it, but it's likely to be him, isn't it? That's the point of yeah. He's liked their comment, and so where does he then? Is, by this point, is he like now? People are noticing me. I'm going to start yeah. sharing on. So Reddit I think and... yeah, once people notice him, because there's so there's a subreddit dedicated to him as well. Ken M. So that's where I think most people kind of learnt him, learnt about him from, and made th- his answers spread because they used used to you have to just stumble across it, but now where there's a collection, as soon as anyone mm. sees a Ken M. comment, they can just screenshot and put it into this place so everyone can see it. Um, <laughs> so now I guess you're maybe going to posit the theory, but yeah, assuming now there's a theory that there's more than one Ken M. That is true. Ooh. Yeah. Because it doesn't necessarily have to be anyone could come up with the name. Ken anyone M, could yeah. be Ken M. I didn't even start, think about that. Yeah, yeah, and start Ken Ming. Like, like uh, lots of people think that there's more than one Q, mm. or or at least tried to be at various points, and then like, yeah, people like took back Q and stuff. And yeah, I mean the Ken M like, uh, I guess style is quite recognisable. Like if because mm. so there's even a subreddit called Not Ken M. And oh, it's nice. about people who make g- these genuine mistakes that are very Ken M like. So people, <laughs> uh, I got some examples of a not Ken like M. Accidental Ken M's, like accidental partridges. Yeah, so there's a like n- that fantastic a... one that did the rounds today. Yeah. Did everyone see that? What one? A, like, an, an accidental partridge. No, with, with the guy, the guy talking to insulate Britain. Oh, oh yeah, with well, the concrete fuck, thing. It's fucking incredible. The, oh, it's yeah, so it's awkward. on the yeah. yeah on the talk. It was what was it on on that talk, talk radio? Yeah, some talk. Sh- radio shit that i don't even know it is yeah and yeah. the guy's like he says what's your job and he's like, oh i'm a yeah. uh carpenter and he's carpenter, like you yeah. so you kill trees and he's like well no trees are sustainable you can you can grow more trees yeah and he says well you can grow more concrete I was like, like, no, you... yeah i love the way the guy just doesn't say anything as yeah. well he just he, stops he, talking I think, and just sits there yeah i think at first of all it, he says like you can't grow concrete or he says, you can't grow yeah you can't yeah, grow no, concrete you can't. And and like, yes you can goes, and the guy just doesn't say anything because the, the, the guy says you can grow lots of other things. He says like, why don't you work with concrete? You can grow lots of other things. And he goes, goes, we well, can't grow concrete. He goes, yes, you can. <laughs> and he just sits and he just sits there. Yeah, <laughs> just lets him die. That is a bit <laughs> like, not Ken M. Yeah, 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 it is a bit not Ken M. Which yeah, and, and and he's doubled down on it as well. He's come out today and he's so cringe. He's like, at least just go right wherever. Yeah, I said a stupid thing, but he's all like, we well, choose our words carefully. As yeah. to, uh, a fucking cunt, <laughs> the <laughs> old fucking fat cunt. <laughs> <laughs> but this example of um, not Ken M. Someone's done this. Oh, it's actually by Ken B. So um, mm. it's the one that's called not Ken M one. And uh, th- someone's asked the question, what is a person from London called? And Ken B replies, my neighbor's from London and he's called <laughs> Rob. 
<laughs> so is that someone like joking? But yeah. are they being Ken M? But they don't want to try and pretend to be Ken M, so they've gone Ken B. I guess so. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, like a, uh, an homage. Yeah. Um, <laughs> there's another one which is a screenshot of That's like a, a text conversation, and uh, the conversation is bike still for sale. Yes, it is. What's the lowest you'll go on it? Two miles an hour. Anything less than that, you'll tip over. <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. That's very good. Yeah. Um, <laughs> another one. It's a comment thread on Reddit. And someone... So if they only put that bike for sale up to, to, to hook someone for that joke. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, yeah. They ain't even got a bike for sale. Or they're just pissed off with people asking to go lower and he's found the yeah, right opportunity. They, to, they, they've set yeah. that up for that. Uh, Did I ever tell you about, I think I might have mentioned it once before, where like someone trolled me on a text message now. I wish I could remember what it was. It was like I'd text... I'd ask for someone's number. I think it was asked for, uh, I can't remember, someone's number. I'd ask for their number at work and they'd given it to me. And then I was texting them about a shift swap. And so I'd text them and was like, you have, will you swap, yeah. will you swap yeah. shifts with me? Yeah, and they you've re- talked, spoken this better yeah. on the podcast. You have spoken about the podcast, yeah. yeah. And they replied and were like, yeah, man. <laughs> you know, and I was all like, sick, you know. And I, I can't, they must have admitted to it or something. Or maybe I even like text again. I swear they like kept it going. They were like, nah, I've got to tell you, man, it's not really him. Like, I was like, you're fuck. Like, I really thought I was getting a shift swap. Yeah. And then and then they didn't swap shifts with me either. To, like to, <laughs> to, yeah, like it wasn't, it wasn't like they went, oh yeah, I can do it really. No, fucking little prick. I was like, fair play, mate. You've done me. And they were like, yeah, I'm glad you took it so well. <laughs> uh, this other not Ken M example is a comment thread on Reddit and someone just says that they're paralyzed from the neck down. So someone replies and says, how did you type this? And then someone else says, he obviously raises his hands above his neck. <laughs> <laughs> it's stupid, right? That is stupid. That's just silly. Oh, yeah. I love it. But yeah, uh, the Ken M Facebook page is uh, legitimately him. Um, you know, he's got a Twitter and a, a Facebook. And a couple of the examples from the Facebook. Uh, there's a really good one, actually. This is not a Facebook one. Where is... Uh, there was such a good one. I've got one here. It says, uh, this is from the Reddit. Yeah. Uh, new planet found smaller than Earth orbiting distant star. And Ken M has said, it probably only looked tiny because it's far away. <laughs> and then someone else has said, what? <clears throat> someone else has said, great evidence of your inability to think logically or perhaps at all. And then Ken M's replied, uh, then again, it could be super close and the size of a potato. Yeah. <laughs> I saw that <laughs> which one. Is, out, yeah. yeah, which is it's true. a fair That's point. That's logical. Yeah. That, that is thinking logically. Yeah. One of my favourite ones, this isn't like a Facebook one or anything. It's just, uh, again, just a comment on a um, news article. It's just a political article. It says about I don't know, Clinton and Bush doing something. Um, and he's commented and said, Ben Franklin said, politicians are like pampers. They both stink and they act like babies. And then someone commented and said, Ken, hate to tell you this, but pampers have only been around for 50 years. True moron. Ken says, but that's what made his comment so controversial at the time. <laughs> because pampers didn't exist. Um, <laughs> So it's just it's just stupid. Yeah, it's almost it. like he I love it. He probably wrote that first comment just knowing someone's gonna take the bait and then he has like a, mm. a, a punchline ready to go. Another one here, Russia reaches lake under Antarctica. Ken M says, risking all of our butts just to find some sea worms. Well, thanks, Russia. <laughs> uh someone's put, How are you now at risk? And Ken M says, Well, if they drill too deep, they'd hit the core and let all the let all the gravity out. <laughs> I love that. There's one you said about Pampers, so I clicked on one, but it's a different one actually. You've put in the thing about Pampers. Yeah, there's another Pampers like, one there. Yeah, yeah. We are teaching our grandson that clean diapers are a privilege, not a right. And like a bit like, what? Of course, it's a right to have a clean diaper. Babies need a clean diaper every time. How horrible! People are like, oh my god, Pampers like this. I like Pampers like the comments. Like, I wonder if they really did, or if that's like a full on like quasi, you know, like double troll because it reminded me of when um. I was about to say a second ago that like uh, people do like a another good. This is what I would consider a troll. People like create um, an an account that's very much like so. If someone comments mm. on like Walker's crisps or, or like Tesco. I you know like some some like moan like I didn't get uh, the correct amount of 
uh, such and such in my order that I did, and someone will comment saying "shut up," like you know. Like, but it'll be like yeah. it'll be like from Tesco, but they'll put like dot dot, and it, and they'll put their logo or something, and it'll be they'll make an account just for that, and it looks exactly like they're replying. They'll be like, "We don't really care about your business anymore, Karen." You know, like yeah, yeah. go away. Yeah. You know, like it's brilliant. Like, and some of the replies are great because they'll do it on like if someone will comment on something like on like a maybe if someone's done an advert featuring like a black family or something and some fucking dickhead or comment like i don't like you know like you know like the classic like racist comment on it and this person will come back and say well you can just fuck off <laughs> and, you know, like, and they're like what you can't say that it's brilliant uh but I, I wonder if this is maybe that like pampers didn't really like his comment he's made a pampers account to like yeah maybe. there's always always a chance that like the screenshot could be like doctored as well so someone could have just put that pampers like this sort of there and they didn't actually you know you could do the old like yeah but people uh, are commenting on this post and saying like oh my god pampers have liked it yeah true i don't know yeah i don't know, I don't know what to believe anymore tom it's the internet mm, you can't believe anything <laughs> um but yeah anyway so he was anonymous for a very long time now uh there's still not much information about who he is. Uh, a lot of articles and even on the Wikipedia forum says that his actual name is Kenneth McCarthy and he's a writer, f- he's a, he was a copywriter for Comedy Central and for College Humour. Um, I couldn't find where that information came from. Like I couldn't find okay. an actual quote from him or like a tweet or anything to say, yeah, this is true. Um, but there is a couple interviews with him, but they, uh, bl- there's one which is, uh, like by 60 seconds and they um blur his face uh but you see like that he's just a a white guy wearing like a flat cap and that's it like that's all you can really tell isn't it 60 minutes no so there, there is 60 minutes there but there's 60, also there's 60, 60 seconds, seconds as well, as well. Yeah, i don't okay. know if they're as big right. like i, don't, I think okay. it's just a um i think it's all just right. this youtube channel does 60 second interviews um, nice. That's actually better because sometimes I think 60 minutes, too fucking yeah, long. Yeah, or maybe just this one video was a <laughs> uh, 60 second video. Oh, um, okay. What annoyed me is it wasn't 60 seconds. Um, yeah, that's shit. Yeah, it was like one minute, five seconds or something. It's like, well, I get that it's still close enough to a minute. Mm. But if you're going to call yourself 60 seconds or the, ti- <laughs> yeah. the title of the video at least, where was it? Yeah, 60 second docs. Professional troll Ken M, 60 second docs, but it's one minute, six seconds. Yeah, that's annoying. You're not You've got 66 a, yeah. second docs. And also, they, they can yeah. definitely cut off six seconds. I mean, yeah, that's not do difficult. it fucking right. Yeah. Unless yeah, maybe, annoying. like, is the last six seconds. Oh, okay. The last six seconds is like their outro. So the actual, nah. the actual that, interview guess, is a minute, and then there's six source. seconds of nothing there. Like, yeah, yeah, he's weak source. I'm not accepting Still, it. Still, yeah, you can do better. 60 yeah, seconds. You, yeah. <laughs> um, How many f- subscribers have they got? Fucking only 63k. Yeah, too many. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and he's also done a Vox interview as well. Um, they've only got 10 million. Uh, <laughs> Small fry. Give them a shout out, Tom. Yeah. <laughs> Bring ups to Vox. Go and... Uh, Give them a brap. Yeah. Brap. <laughs> No, 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 I mean, like, that's better, proper brap. Better, than, better than your brap, <laughs> weren't it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, um, and that one's a bit more in depth, obviously. Um, but again, they don't show his face; they just do the whole like um, blacked out silhouette type thing, and nice. he's talking about his um, kind of just how he got started and he just said he was doing it as like a writing exercise obviously i guess he was a comedy writer so i guess it was just a just a way of you know making jokes and trying to be funny in a in a different way to what most most people were um mm. but yeah he I, I i assume his identity has been confirmed if he's done these interviews he's not being 100 percent anonymous but he never showed mm. his face um, not publicly identified, I guess. No, and there's only I can only find one photo that is apparently him, um, and that's in the uh, uh, photos that I've sent you. It's just called Ken M Face, and it's a tweet from his Twitter account, and it 
just says more proof that we- a weathered potato can spawn a fresh sack of peaches. And it's a picture of what is presumably him sitting there kissing his, uh, like, you know, young baby. Um, mm. He's got, he's got the cap flat on. cap on and he's like a, you know, white he's guy, white, simil- he's white similar guy. build. Yeah. <laughs> um, but that is the only photo that is apparently him. Now, the, the Reddit was quite upset when he actually revealed his face because I do feel like the anonymity is the best, is the best mm, part of it. The like, mystique. And, yeah, yeah, I feel like it would have been better if he never even made a Twitter account. Like, so it wasn't, yeah. there was no personality to it. Like now he, he tweets and he, he does tweet kind of like Ken M style jokes about uh, current events and, and such. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's not the same. No. No. No, it's, it's not uh, the same. I get why you do it as the guy, because, like, by that point, like, I guess you can sort of... It's better to get something out of it, right? Get like, something out of it, yeah. But, but but one of those things is, like, the, it, as, a, as a thing, as, as a thing that exists, it, it, it is more beautiful when, it, when, like, they weren't getting something out of it. Yeah. Other than the art. Yeah, mm. exactly. It's like, that's like, that's like an art, a piece of art, an art. Yeah. Yeah. And um yeah, it was like those uh remember months and months ago, those monoliths, right? Like yeah. someone just put this big uh metal structure somewhere. It was in the middle of some like national park or something, weren't it? Mm. And yeah, it was a couple, yeah. No one knew who it was, and then a couple of days later yeah. another one shows up somewhere else in the country. Uh it was all over in the country, it was all over the world. No, a different place in the world, mm. yeah. 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 And but then they're, I need to look into that actually, because yeah, it never actually. Then one was put in like the Isle of Wight, and then someone owned up to that one yeah. in the Isle of Wight, like the next day. Yeah, and I and saw there was like, like you... these YouTubers that, but we're gonna put up a monolith or whatever, and they put they put one up on a beach somewhere. It might have been the Isle of Wight one. Um, yeah, and they kind of made a shitty looking one, put it up somewhere. Yeah, it wasn't as good. But then it like blew over in the wind, and they'd like written their YouTube name on the inside of it, and it's like, oh, come on, like obviously just capitalizing on it. Yeah, it's fine. So I was, I was, I was saying off because that's something we'd probably do. I was going to suggest us doing it. Like I was planning on doing it. <laughs> like I spoke to my mate. Like when it was all going on, I was like, we should fucking put a monolith up. Mm. Like, uh, but then yeah, the, the next day these fucking people come out with, oh yeah, we did it. We, yeah, and it ruined the whole point of it. Yeah, I wish it was never. But it, but those other ones, are, I think, are still unexplained. Yeah, there's only the one because that one was like definitely naffer than the others. Yeah. like it was obviously different. Mm. Um, yeah, aliens. Or Bigfoot. The others were aliens or, big, or Bigfoot or carried Bigfoot it, Or yeah. Bigfoot from another planet. <laughs> yes. The ultimate. That is the ultimate. A ghost <laughs> of a Bigfoot from another planet <laughs> is the ultimate. But yeah, so uh, Kenneth says that he created Ken M. Um, uh, or Ken M has been described as just an ill-informed old dude. Unlike most internet trolls, he's completely harmless with the thought of others' enjoyment in mind rather than his own. Kenneth has dubbed this form of trolling do no harm trolling. Kenneth has also expressed his dislike for the term troll due to all the negative connotations it carries. So, Big up. yeah, similar to what we've said before. Yeah. It should just be, you know, fucking about. Yeah, twatting about. Yeah. yeah. No. Yeah. Um, Not just being a cunt. Yeah. If people <laughs> like his work, he does have oh, a. That's very good <laughs> enunciation. <laughs> <laughs> You got to announce it, anyway. I think we yeah. we British do it right, don't we? Mm. The word "cunt." Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Yeah. Um, he does have a Patreon. If what if wanna... you do the if you put the emphasis at the <laughs> end of the word "cunt"? Cunt. Yeah, you really cunt. have. You... That's, you that's when you. That's, that's when you. Yeah, that's when you're really oh, actually annoyed with someone. Yeah, when you like, really when you're really just like, oh, yeah. you, you lovely little cunt. Like, you, don't, <laughs> you, you, you know. Oh, you yeah. sly cunt. Like you don't. But when you're like really mean, like, you fucking cunt. Like you, you, I felt yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. You fucking little cunt. <laughs> that's, yeah, we'd never, we'd never be monetized, would we? The man. Yeah. <laughs> well, not after oh, this yeah, episode. Okay. episode. Um, <laughs> speaking of, uh, if. You, you know, if you oh shit, are you about to announce that we're <laughs> no. finally going to make money on this? No, not at all. But uh, again, another thing that you I think fucking can. The only thing that I think ruins the mystique of it a little bit is uh, Heroes Cars. No, uh, Ken does have a Patreon account as well if you want to oh, support his work. And I think he does like mm. I don't really know what he offers. Well, I do because I'm re- going to read it. But it says uh, 
So after five years of doing my absurdist trolling thing as Ken M, I'm hoping this is a way to get the time and resources to create much more content every week rather than the occasional monthly post. If you're a fan who would be into that, I'm just aiming for a tiny monthly donation, like five, uh, one to five dollars. That said, depending on the success of this Patreon, I'd eventually like to start a well-produced podcast filled with weird interviews, call-in segments, prank calls, etc. and more. Your support would also help me finish the coffee table slash toilet that sounds, book. I've that sounds that. shit, that yeah, idea of a like podcast. Shit. That sounds <laughs> rubbish. <laughs> Who the and fuck also, would listen to that? Our patrons much better than that. <laughs> <laughs> you need to stop joking about the Patreon because one day we're going to have a Patreon and people are going to think it's a joke. <laughs> well, yeah, no, but we've got so much content in there already, you know, people, um, people are paying for. But, you know. Yeah, so maybe we can get Ken on the podcast if he's going to be starting a podcast of his own, you know, of a similar style. You know, he could do with a little boost. So, you yeah, know, we can, we can teach him the ropes. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, one of the first things that I'd probably say to him is don't talk about previous podcast episodes mid recording of a podcast. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, don't double check stuff. Um, <laughs> That'd be good. That would have been a major fuck up though, wouldn't it? Like if I <laughs> fucked the, the video on this one and then just deleted all the footage from my video for another one, we'd have to have my shit fucking webcam video like we had from yours that time. Oh. It looked awful. It was great. I looked at it the other day. And, and the, you know what made that worse is because that was one of my talking episodes. So, <laughs> yeah, it was. Know, I was like the focus of the well, episode. And it was like Tom had just started using his DSLR, I think, as well. And I just started <laughs> using the GoPro. So like we looked grey. And then there's you, there's like this grainy <laughs> Piece it's of one fuck. pixel. <laughs> yeah. You realise we're doing exactly what George just said uh, is shit content. Oh, yeah, which is yeah. still oh, I know. Yeah, Maybe yeah. this is like a free trial in M. <laughs> you know, if you want the rest of it, Ken, you're gonna have to sign up for our Patreon. Yeah. Right. There's also Rob wanking uh, talking stuff about like filling a shot glass with cum, something else maybe in there. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We've spoke about that a couple um, times actually. <laughs> yeah, it's, like, like yeah. the time. it's all in there. It's all in the Patreon. <laughs> um. If you want to access it, send me your bank details. Oh, I guess I'll finish with maybe yeah, a couple no, more. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> a couple more examples. Uh, so yeah. there's one here which is uh, it's just, I've titled it "Future." It says uh, only seven percent of Americans could name the first four U.S. presidents in order, and that's just you know that's the article. Ken comments and says. We don't know our own history because Americans have always been forward-thinking people. Other countries would do well to follow suit. I think it's a pretty clever comment, to be fair. Like I say, <laughs> yeah. you know, good, good little joke. And John comments and says, not a good answer at all. You can't really track where you're going if you don't know where you came from. Ken says, well, remaining ignorant on the future is hardly a recipe for progress. John says, of course we're ignorant on the future, Ken. It hasn't happened yet. <laughs> But your point is irrelevant. You made it minutes ago. <laughs> nice. Yeah. <laughs> you know, people always say that about um, naming the American presidents or well, that sort of bullshit. Yeah. Can you name the first four UK prime ministers? I, I, I no, can't. not for but, shit. But, but the Americans so are weird, aren't they? Yeah, the Americans, it all happened like 20 years ago. Yeah, they've only so had like, like 52 presidents, right? There's not been yeah. that many prime ministers. Like, It's not like we had prime ministers back in 1400. Uh, I think we did. The first prime minister? No. There's no way. There, we've I mean, we've there had more than 52. Hey? Hmm? We've had more than 50 odd. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And we just but generally don't give like... as much of a shit as they do, do we? Like, we could probably name the last, like, uh, three. 1721. I can name the last four. <laughs> I was going to say, we, we could, 1721, was it? Yeah, so it's only, it's not that. When was That's the US? Ages ago. 17. Yeah, but the, the US was formed in, when was the War of Independence? 17. 80 or something I don't know but so it's not that well, much of a yeah but we could probably it? name like the last few royals the, the royal the, the last few I can't the, name the last one I before the queen shit. Queen Elizabeth the one before Queen Elizabeth was her dad King, King George V uh, uh, six. All right, so All maybe right. George has got a point because there's I've just yeah, googled how many it. prime ministers has the UK had it's 55 and All right. All right. America I think it's 52 yeah. presidents yeah, well, they're just weird, though, don't they? They only care about their own history. <laughs> that is true. And we, um... But their history is our history because we made them. <laughs> we made them, Rob. And then we burnt the White House. <laughs> Remember that, Americans. <laughs> Next time you get a uppity, right, 
will come over, we'll burn it again. Is not the Kuros right? cast, disclaimer, <laughs> not the Kuros, we're not going to do it. Yeah, don't threaten him. They American didn't even have man. proper yeah, names, the first presidents. Yeah. Listen to this. The first one is Sir Robert Walpole. Walpole. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, that, that's, 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 that's fine. That's a name. The next yeah. one is William Pitt the Younger. The yeah. next one just says the Earl of Liverpool. And the next, next one is uh, the Mar... I don't, know, I don't know if I'm going to say this right. The Marquess of Salisbury. Yeah. Is Marquess the right word? That's, they're yeah. not names. The Marquess <laughs> no, that, and that, the Earl. Yeah, that is weird. That is weird. Yeah. yeah. And I'm the... sure if I clicked on it, it'll probably tell me what their actual names are. Mm. Yeah, it does. That's like their title, isn't it? They're not their name. Yeah. But, um, yeah, all stupid old names pretty much. <laughs> there's, there's one from 1858 called Boner Law. Boner His Law. His name's Boner. Boner. Good, isn't it? Oh, I realise I didn't a, even read them in order. What it's a, a classic curious thing to laugh at. <laughs> yeah. Boner Law. Boner Law. Lol. I, I realise I just read them in order of tenature, not... Uh, tenature? Yes. What does that mean? Oh, te- tenure? tenure. Sorry. Because <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was reading, I was, I was going ahead and reading the word terms in office at the same time. What, how long they serve? Yeah, how long they serve. Sure they can yeah. only serve for 20 years. years, mate. I That's thought they can only serve for, oh, these are prime ministers, sorry. These are prime ministers, yeah. Oh, right, oh, right. Okay, I was going to say. But yeah. So, how long can a prime minister serve for then? I guess as long as. As long as they fucking get voted in, yeah. Yeah, true. Mental. Yeah. But um, so okay. wang about so that means we have been going on longer in terms of years because we have because they're only every every four years they get a new max in or eight eight years oh, two yeah, terms years. max so we could have some that have been longer. Well, yeah, so. cool. we've been longer because America only existed in like. But 17. then we've got more that have been shorter. There's that we go through so many oh, okay, that have yeah, like yeah, only yeah. been in office been for like less than a year. Week. Yeah, um, a lot of doublers in the US as well. Even in the last, doublers. even in the last like ten years, how many have we had? Yeah, like. Five. We were about four in the last year. Yeah, we, like, yeah, just, yeah just think, yeah. since 9-11, it's just been George Bush, Barack Obama, Trump, and now Biden, right? Yeah. That's yeah. it. We've had, four, we've had four in the last couple of years. Yeah, the last like, four yeah. or five years. Yeah. yeah. Well, politics. Yeah, we, that was one of the rules yeah, of the uh, Curious cast, actually, is that we yeah. stay away from politics. But we've, we've, it's been fine because we spoke about bona law. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. That's fine. Yeah. yeah. Um, I've also got bona one more law. thing to bring up. It's, one, it's, it's worth bringing up at the end of the episode because no one's here. But um, it's a continuation from uh, Robin George's dispute over whether it's to be sneezed at or to be sniffed at. Mm. And we've got a a listener contribution. Can you guess Ooh. who no, contributed? Who always contributes? Uh, come on. Vegan, inevitable vegan future. Inevitable vegan future has come in. <laughs> and I was speaking to him the other day and he, he was sitting at home watching Seinfeld as inevitable vegan future does. Mm. And he was watching season two, episode nine, 16 minutes and 20 seconds in. This is a Pornhub review. Jerry himself says, um, "Who's Jerry's wife? It's Elaine, isn't it? Is that? I, I've never actually watched Seinfeld. I've never watched it. No. But he gives his his wife um, or partner, whatever, a gift for like her birthday, and he just gives her mm-hmm. like a, a nicely wrapped box. She opens it up, and then there's just money in there. And she's like pissed off. She's like, "You didn't even get me a gift. It's money." And he says, "Hey, he's like, that's two hundred eighteen dollars. That's nothing to be sneezed at." So he does say sneezed. I can't remember what side of the argument. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even remember it. So I think, I think I said sneezed at, right? Yeah, yeah you, you did, you did say sneezed, sneezed yes, at. Yes, so therefore, right. then, then Seinfeld and then you completely did, corroborates me. Yeah, to be fair, you did come up with the theory that it's likely America. that Americans say sneezed at and you know, smart people Jimmy would have say like, sniffed at. I was going to say, Jimmy, yeah, Jimmy, what are you saying? Sneezed Jimmy, or Jimmy, sniffed? Well, he's probably not listening because I slagged off America. We <laughs> slagged off, I realise we've slagged off America like quite a lot. <laughs> yeah. um, I actually quite like America. Big up, Jimmy. Big up, America. Big up. Let us know. Shout sneezed out to or America. Yeah. They yeah. <laughs> need our shout yeah. out. Yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, you're probably right there that it is sneezed for, so, and. So do you want to suck me off now or do you want to suck me off later? Inevitable Vegan Future did try and do some research on our behalf as well and looked into like the history. Oh, that is curious research. Yeah. (laughs) We're not paying you, by the way. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, He tried to do some research into like 
where where it originally came from. And I think he did find some literature that was British that did have the phrase sneeze, or maybe it was the other way around, and he found some American text that had uh, sniffed at. So we... Mm. we we won't do it, but inevitable vegan future. If you want to do it, then you can uh, <laughs> do some research for us and and find out. Uh, Maybe it's got something to do with snuff once and for all. Yeah. Nice. Maybe it's got something to do with snuff. You know, um, when they oh like tobacco, not like people, snuff oh. films. Oh, it could be. No, no, no. But yeah. I like their like theory. Back George. in the day, yeah, and it might have made you sneeze. Yeah, or but you also sniff it up, don't you? So maybe. Yes, I mean, and sometimes the, when you yeah. sniff it up, it might have made you sneeze. Yeah. So, so there we are. Are we going to agree on maybe a divergence of, of language, Rob? Or are you going to just be a prick for, <laughs> for the rest of the Might this, keep uh... being a prick. <laughs> well. well, I hope you guys liked the uh, history so of the inevitable Ken vegan future and the Oxford Cambridge Dictionary. That's, that's back me up. So you can suck me off oh. right now. <laughs> <laughs> that's Ken M. Yes, yeah, so. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Big up Ken M. Shout out. Shout out to Ken. We'll uh, we'll try and get him on. See if he wants to join us one day. And uh, is he? Uh, oh, what's the point? Is he American? Is he English? No one I think knows. He's American. Um, I'm trying yeah. to just remember from if he was on like Vox and stuff. I guess he was probably American. Vox, no, but Vox comedy is Central. Yeah, and he was. was he was. Comedy Central. Oh, Comedy Central. Sorry, you said. Yeah, that. yeah, and he's also yeah. the Facebook pages that he comments on are all very American companies like Tide. Yeah, and okay. Tide, yeah, In and Out Burger yeah. and yeah. shit like that. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it seems like he's American. In that supposed photo of him, there's one of those window AC units that all Americans seem to have. Um. Okay. And I'm pretty Where sure his voice actually come from. It was on his Twitter on his account, Twitter. yeah. Hmm. Um, but you can't believe anything on the internet, mate. He could be. Yeah. He could Maybe be, that's part of the could um, be a double trial. Part of the scam. Yeah, yeah. could be. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Cool. Tune in next week for an unknown topic we haven't decided yet. Or have we? Oh, <laughs> that was. Or maybe. <sighs> Next week's episode might be in person. Oh, you know, it might be a glorious oh, yeah, return be. to the studio. We don't want to promise anything, but maybe there's a little bit of a little bit of something up our sleeves. But if you're listening, it'll be absolutely no different yeah. to you, really. Yeah, sure. Yeah. I know, my audio quality will probably be a bit better. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, can't get much worse. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> that was but episode yeah, so, um, fifty-five of the Curios right, Cast. He's going, he's going for it. The history. <laughs> he's had enough of Ken M. Big ups. Bye.